family. Dang, man, it's been a fat minute. I hope y'all been doing so good. But, y'all, it's because, man, it's hard to know when you don't have your vlog phone on you. And when you've just been so busy, like, it's hard for real. Like, now I know when YouTubers say, like, guys, I'm sorry it's been so long I posted. You know, it's just I've been so busy. And that's me right now. Obviously, you know, I don't take this as a big thing. You know, I just do it to have fun, mess around YouTube. But, you know, but I was like, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many, like, opportunities for me to vlog things. But I don't because either just because, like, I just don't have the time and all that. But no more excuses. We're going to make this happen today. But it's going to be a little shorter, though, most likely, maybe. Because, you know, obviously, I don't have the um, the storage like I have, like, on my vlog phone. You know, because I'm using my personal phone. And obviously, I have, like, way more stuff on there. So, yeah. But, um, all right. So, as you can read the title of the video. We're going to be back at Peco. God is good. If it's been a fat minute. Last time I was at Peco was last year in April. So, and I'm going to have a special guest with me. You already, you already know who he is. Familiar face. Um, if you don't know who he is, then you must be, like, fake. You must, like, have been living under a rock. Maybe Patrick's Rock or something, you know? So, yeah. Well, um, you know, we'll put on camera, you know, everything, you know, on the way over there, the stadium, all that, what we, what we got and all that. So, um, yeah, let's do it. And obviously, don't mind what I'm wearing. Obviously, I still... I got work right now, so right after work, we're, we're gonna be taking off. We're gonna go home, go change, get ready real quick, and yeah. So um, I get to work first, and then um, it's um, show time. All right, y'all, we're finally on the way. So you guys are about to see the special guest reveal again. The fight, like I said, if y'all know who the heck this is, like, all right, y'all, the moment of truth is the one and only. <laughs> this guy, right? Look at this. This obviously you guys know who this is. If y'all know who this is, then um, please like. You gotta repent or something, so. Really? Alright, jokes aside though, for those that do not know, this is Kane, my, one of my best friends, brother since, like, basically, like, before, even before, probably even before Kinder, uh, probably. So, yeah, pretty much that. So, yeah, we're on the way to the game already, finally. Um, So, again, the goal is, um, this guy's gonna experience batting practice with me and how it is to get autographs, even though I was an 18 year old grown man. You know, because like I said, I'm still a kid when it comes to going to baseball games. Kate Allen Turner, how do you feel? We are less than 10 minutes away from Petco Park. How do you very, feel? Very ecstatic, very excited. You know, traffic hasn't, hasn't really been that bad. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty decent, you know. So, uh, you know, except this guy, but whatever. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, remember, the oldest trick in the book. You had to leave hours before first pitch. I don't, I don't care what you say. That's how you avoid traffic. It's, co it's simple, common sense. All right, guys, so if you're a Pickle Park guy, you go to Pickle Park, you already know, if you're already familiar with these hotels, that means you're already about to get there. So um, the question right now so far to uh, Chad, guys, I'll, by the way, you're, I call Katie Chad for you guys, to, for those that do not know, there's a backstory to it, but we can explain that another time. But all right, Chad, what do you think right now Tatis, Machado, Bogarts, and Soto are doing right now? Probably getting ready to lose, bro. Like <laughs> I'm being real, <laughs> they have no chance. That's right, that's right. All right, y'all, we are finally here. If you're an OG, when you remember I was here last year, we parked this where I parked my family. So, but then, so I told Chad, I was like, Chad, there's parking here too, so. I can smell the hot dogs. <laughs> oh, and y'all, by the way, I was generous enough to let Chad borrow my Kershaw jersey. You need a Dodger jersey? Makes it perfect too, since he, he'll be pitching today, so. Yes, how, do you, how do you feel? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Noah. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, y'all, pretty cool to see the, right here, Dodgers before they get to BP. Really sick. It's pretty cool to see an upward close right here. View of the pitchers right here, relievers, starters, you name them. They're warming up too in the outfield. Now you got more of the position players right here. Warming up now. So, these are kind of like the, here, right there. Like, you see Mookie over there? James, Clayton McCullough, first base coach. There's the go right there, the go. No, no explanation for that. All right, yo, so here is our view. We, we got the Lexus Club, Premier Club. So what they do here, the advantages is you get in-seat service, it's a good view, and you get a private lounge, but you still have to pay for the food and all that, but hey, but then bringing you the food and all that, I think it's so good, you know, not having to get up on your seat. Don't gotta miss the game or anything like that, so. I still think it's fair. Now, for those that want to view what the Lexus Cub looks like, here it is. Really nice, little far respected. Really good view. Good food, all that great stuff.
Yo, Miguel Vargas is on the come up. He has been showing his rookie self these past games. Proud of that guy. I was, I was, I was a true, I'm a true third man. I believed in him. I, I knew he was going to start a come up soon. So um, we just came to McDonald's to uh, um, to heal the pain of the loss, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Are you? Yeah, I just got to my destination, aka my place. So, Chad Turner. Yes, sir. It was an honor to be with you today at the game. Yes, sir. We had lots of fun. It was like once in a lifetime moment, bro. But the second bit lasts for sure, right? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Like this, we're, we're doing way more than for sure. Yeah, in the yeah, future. Yeah. So yeah, we had a good time, though, bro. Like, what, what were your thoughts? Your first Dodger game ever. How do you feel? Uh, maybe lost, but <laughs> I'm, I mean, it was a good experience, though. Bro, it, like exactly, yeah, person. it backfired to us whenever he said that, like, they're preparing to lose, bro. Remember? And I told I you what you think they're doing right I know, now. bro. Honestly. <laughs> All right, y'all, so, like, y'all here in the car, you know we lost, had a great time still, and all that. but first things first, real quick, before I end it, I want to give three shout-outs. So, one shout-out, like y'all saw in the video earlier, shout-out to No Syndergaard, man. I got, I got his autograph, signed my ball, too. Y'all can see right there. What sucks, though, is that... It kind of like it doesn't really show good because my pen wasn't warmed up yet, you know. So which kind of sucks, but it's all good. I I got I still got a selfie with him, you know. Got a chat up, with, and obviously, you guys, there's proof right there that I, he signed my ball, so it's all good though. No, the shout out to assistant pitching coach in the Dodgers, Connor McGinnis. He gave me a baseball, um, because I saw him right there, just kind of close by. I just said what's up to him, you know, and he smiled at me. And literally, right when I said what's up to him, he literally came up to me and he gave me a baseball and he gave me a baseball to another kid. So I feel like he gave me a baseball just because I knew him, you know, because obviously, you know, like he probably doesn't because, really, you know, like since he's an assistant pitching coach, you know, maybe I guess not that much people like really like know how he looks, you know. So obviously all the big daughter fans know him, but, you know, he probably just considered me. I don't know how to explain, it, you know, like he just probably awarded me with that, you know, or recognized him or whatever. And then another good shout out. Shout out to Chelsea Freeman, Freddie Freeman's wife. I recognized her. Um, actually, so, um, shout out to her because I met her and she's mad, very nice, friendly girl. Awesome. So, I yeah, got to take a picture with her. Yeah, when I was getting some food, I, like, I literally, I recognized her right away. I'm like, that's Chelsea Freeman for sure. So, when I, I, uh, so how, what happened is, you know, I just went right there. I was like, excuse me, are you, um, are you Chelsea Freeman? Are you Freddie's wife? And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's awesome. You know, honored to meet you and all that. So, it's crazy too because I remember, you know, I'm always, I'm always meeting family, Dodgers family there, man. Like, I remember, like, my senior year, like a year and a half ago, when I met um, Bellinger's dad there too, Clay. So it was pretty cool. So yeah. All right, then fam. Well, that concludes the video. So again, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. And hopefully this was a little good return with, you know, with the YouTube videos. Again, I have so much other YouTube videos I got to post. They're just in the draft still. So most likely when I post them, they're going to be like, obviously like way late. So I'll just put like the dates right there. No, I just see so you guys won't get confused. So yeah, but so like the usual, I miss, I miss telling y'all this, but I love y'all. Stay safe. Y'all just continue to um, continue to give me ideas and all that good stuff just so we can uh, have, a, have a fun future in this YouTube channel. So love y'all. Y'all have a good one.